G'day guys, how are you? I'm Ali. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for you mums out there who are returning to work after maternity leave. So I returned to work two months ago when Sophie was 10 and a half months. So here's some tips that I've used to help me. So I hope you find these tips helpful. Let me know if you've got any tips below in the comments or if one of them resonated with you. I'd love to know about it. Let's get into the video. My first tip is to get up earlier than your child. Even if it's 30 or 15 minutes, it makes a massive difference. The ability to use both your hands and to be able to concentrate on what you're doing to get yourself dressed, you'll do it a lot quicker than if the kids are awake. My second tip is to pack your bag and your child's bag the night before. So for instance, Sophie's childcare bag, we've got a change of clothes, we've got her sleeping stuff, her comforter, um, and we also use reusable nappies. So we've got that in a separate bag and we have four different nappies in there. So just making sure that's all ready to go. I've also found that I actually put her shoes in her bag too, because I don't know how they misplace one shoe. But I just find if they're just in the bag, then it's easy as we're going out the door to just put them on. I also pack my bag and make sure I've got snacks for when I'm at work. And if I was having a sandwich or something, I'd pack that as well the night before. My third tip is to get your clothes out the night before as well as your child. So I check the weather on my phone, see what the temperature is going to be, and then I work out what clothes Sophie, my 12 month old daughter is going to wear and what clothes I'm going to wear. Now for me, it's getting out my uniform because I have a badge that I need to wear and I also have a swipe card that I need to swipe on and off when I'm at work. So it's important that I have those ready to go. My fourth tip in the morning, especially when you're giving your baby breakfast, is to either wear a dressing gown or something to cover your clothes or I even wear a different top at times, just so that I don't get sticky wheat fix all over my work clothes. My fifth tip, and this is what Dave does when he takes Sophie to childcare in the morning, is before he even gets Sophie, he puts her bag and his bags into the car and then comes back. So he's got two free hands to hold her and get her into the car seat. So those were very specific tips for that morning or the night before, but something else that we do is we meal plan. So we have a meal plan for the whole week in our pantry, a list of what we're eating for that week. And for those two days that I work, we either cook the day before and just keep them in the fridge and we can reheat them, or we have a bulk amount of meals in the freezer that we can just get out and reheat in the microwave. So I've found that's really helped. When you're at work, when you come home, you wanna spend time with your child and you don't feel like prepping a meal. So because we've already prepared the meal, it makes it so much easier and you're able to spend quality time with your child instead of in the kitchen, cutting up some vegetables. After we've done the meal planning, the next thing we tend to do is grocery shopping online. So once we know what ingredients we need for those meals that week, we go on the internet to Coles Online, put into the shopping cart all the ingredients we need for those meals for the week, and then we do click and collect where we just go to the shop and pick it up and we don't have to pay for delivery. My next tip is to get some help. So whether that's a cleaner, whether it's buying some pre-packaged meals from a certain company, we actually have a cleaner. They come once a fortnight and do two hours of just cleaning um, when we're not here. It works really well that I don't feel I have to spend a lot of time cleaning the house from top to bottom when I'm on days off. So I get to spend more time with the family and our 12 month old daughter. My next tip, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love morning and evening cleaning routines. So even if you have a cleaner like we do, who comes once a fortnight, we need to maintain the house in between. So I find we have a morning and evening cleaning routine. I'll leave links for those just down below in the description box. These routines help us to maintain the cleanliness of the house on our work days so that when we're on off days, we don't have to catch up heaps and heaps because we've maintained keeping the bench tops and the table clean as well as the washing. Otherwise you get to the weekend and you're just putting loads of washing on all day. And lastly is to plan a special family outing each week so that you've all got something to look forward to and it just gives you that quality family time. So some things that we've done is gone to the playground, gone to the park, gone swimming, gone out to a cafe, gone to Bunnings. Okay guys, that's my 10 tips. If you've got any more tips, I'd love to see them in the comments below. Help some other mums out. 
Another video that you might like that I spoke about in this is my morning cleaning routine. I must say on a work day, I don't tend to do much vacuuming. There isn't the time for it, but the rest we do. All right, thanks heaps for watching guys. Take care, bye.